Welcome to the CSIS Importing Extracts into the CalPads Excel Templates Training. There are several reasons to import data into CalPads templates, among those are troubleshooting, lack of SIS functionality, mass changes, ODS extract and data manipulation. Excel provides an option to specify data when the local SIS doesn't feature the functionality. Lack of SIS expertise. Excel provides an option to specify data when local query is ineffective. Mass changes. Updates to records and provides simple rules and file structure for submission without SIS. ODS extract. Reconcile SIS with CalPADS data for specific students or programs. Data manipulation. Filter and sort for specific data and create custom reports from this data. The CalPads templates can be accessed from the CalPads user manual's homepage. Using the navigation ribbon at the top of the page, open the resources drop down selection menu. Then select batch file templates. Additionally, there is a direct link to the batch file templates at the bottom of the page under the templates and extracts section. There is a batch file template for all submission data types, as well as template specific CalPads data extracts that provide information from CalPads for local use. Clicking on the link for a template should start an automatic download in your web browser. So, tell me, how would I get started using these templates? Set up the template for import. First, enable editing to exit protected view, then select cell A2. This will allow your imported data to align correctly in the columns below each header. Select the Home tab from the Navigation ribbon. Next, select Options from the left Navigation menu. Now, select from the Excel option the Data menu. Use the right-hand scroll bar to move down the Interface options under the Legacy Data Import Wizard section. Check to ensure the From Text Legacy box is selected. Now click OK. Select from text using the Legacy Wizard from the Get Data drop down menu. Select the file, then select Import to start the wizard. Choose the file delimiter. This could be characters such as commas or carrots that separates each data element. You are able to determine which delimiter to select by viewing the data in the preview of the file. Select the next button at the bottom of the pop-up menu. Use the other indicator if the file's delimiter is not listed. If the delimiter was correctly selected, the data preview will divide the data into columns. After selecting the delimiter, select Next. Hey, be sure to check that data preview window to ensure the data divides correctly. You should remember all data in CalPads is text format. So, just to be safe, we will use the bottom scroll bar to start our selection from the right in the data preview window. Then select the last column. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard. Select that column while holding the shift key will highlight all columns in the data preview. Select text from the column data format section. Okay, now you can click the finish button. So, a import data window just popped up. What is this used for? Microsoft Excel gives us a second chance to choose where we would like this data to appear, and we can even clear out any additional leftover cell format or data already in the designated sheet or workbook. That's nice, right? Let's take a look at how this is done. After selecting the OK button, the external data range properties window will appear. Select the second from the bottom option to overwrite exiting cells with new data and clear unused cells. Click the OK button. In the center of the Import Data dialog box is a section known as, Where do you want to put the Data Indicator Selector? Select the bubble for existing worksheet, and then check to ensure cell A2 has been selected. Lastly, click the OK button. Now you will be able to view your extracted data in the Excel template. We use the SENR template as an example for this demonstration, but remember for all batch templates you will follow the same procedures to load 